Well, there you are, folks. We're just after coming out of the Katie competition and have met a man who I haven't met in probably um, 20, 30, 25 years anyway. Mr. Mulligan, how's it going? Great, Ray. Great, great, great. Uh, you, you, have, uh, you, you came to Mullingar today? I did. Got from up early this morning from Castlery. You're not that far away, an hour and ten minutes maybe. Yeah. But it's been fantastic. The crowds, the buzz. We've been watching you on Facebook for the last number of days, building it up with a, a couple of other guys, and it's been fantastic. Everything you said has lived up to it. And the yeah. music on the boat yesterday was incredible. And we were just watching the whole thing, and we thought, geez, we have to go up to Mullingar today. And I have to say, it was absolutely brilliant. And brilliant the- bands, brilliant groups, all over the place, and so well organised. Um, it was easy to get into town. Like you're after coming from Castlery, so we you came in Castle- Longford Road, right? Came in the Longford Road, yeah. and we went up to the Lynn Industrial Estate. Yeah. Uh, I watched yesterday. You were promoting a car park place up there, and we got up that side and parked perfectly in seven minutes walk, maybe up into the centre of the town, up Mount Street, and all the action was going on. The gig rig is there, and bands in every pub, and kids playing on the street. And, Crowds everywhere. It's fantastic, but it's very, it's great. It's would great you be um, a, 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 a what would you say a flat gore? No, I'm not a flat gore. I was in the Sligo flat a few years back for one day, yeah. uh, and I don't know very little traditional music, let's yeah. say. And uh, but the buzz is there. You can just feel it. No, yeah. I, I'm probably a rock rock person to be honest yeah, I go to the Rory Gallagher festival every year All right, yeah. I'm going to the Liam Gallagher to Noel Gallagher in a few weeks time yeah. that's my thing really yeah. but I have to say the, the, the um, atmosphere is so good here and there's so many young trad musicians that are really what I call pumping it up a little bit uh, it's not what I'd call probably the real old traditional style of music yeah. but they're modernising it yeah. and it's fantastic and I've, I know bands like Moxie over the years and bands yeah. like that who are fantastic love yeah. Moxie you know so th- those guys kind of have modernised traditional music for me and I, it's definitely brought me into it in the last number of years because one time I would have dismissed it in a way you know True. I thought it was all repetitive and, and I'd be the I thought it was very much the same same old thing same old thing I'd be the and, same uh, as well because well, like, I love what this, this is here today you know? I'd be the same because my arm's getting tired now. Oh, right. but, uh, to give you an idea what's like down the street but um, we're standing on the steps of the cathedral and uh, during the week here did you see the amount of people I did. that play the instruments the instruments out here yeah and it's like a, it's the school that they all come up to. All right, right. and then um, all the instruments then are lined up, yes. and all the people who there were must learning. Have been forty harps. There must have been forty fiddle players. Uh, it was un- it was incredible. But the other one then was was it banjo players the other night? Yeah, down yeah. on the market square or down on the corner here. Yeah. Oh my God! You went up into a window and took a, a video of it. It was fantastic. Loved it. Oh, it was brilliant. And it got all the national papers. It got uh, yeah, they set a record, didn't they? I believe they're talking about uh, a Guinness Book of Records. All right, all right, fantastic. So tell us, you you were a DJ for a little I while. I was as a well. DJ for years back in the old days. Back in the old days, done DJ for Joe Don many many nights. In where was um, it? Mostly in Midas and Belly Hornets. Yeah, with Pat- oh, in the old days and the Casino Ballroom in Castlery. There were the two ones with Chris Carroll. Right. So and Chris used to do the Casino in Castlery, and uh, would have done Clemmers a few times yeah. and Castle Bar. The old days, the old ballroom in Castlebar before the theatre was built. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I went down there a few nights and I'd meet your Joe and your dad, and, and you would have been tagging along at that stage. That's right. Sure. Well, there was uh, one night, it's gas the way you told me a story there. Um, one night, yeah, we, we left um, Bally Harness yeah. and a, a friend of ours, an older gentleman who used to be in the show bands years ago, yeah. he was president of Castlebar Golf Club. Yeah. So uh, Paul asked Joe and me. So he had to get Ben on side. So Ben would be like, and so got the lads back to the golf club and we had a great night. And when most of the crowd disappeared, um, Michal, who didn't drink, lovely man, um, but he was in show bands for years, and Joe said to him, we'll sing a few songs for it. And he'd be old crooner style, what I'd call, being right, Crosby yeah, yeah, type yeah, yeah, singer. Yeah, yeah. Lovely voice, yeah. her beautiful voice. It would stand out, old videos of him I wasn't trying to them out. Yeah. But he was a great singer, and uh, Joe asked him to sing a few songs, and he did. So he sang two or three songs for Joe. So Joe said to you, run down and get the guitar out of the guitar, out of the car, yeah. and come up and and Joe sang a few songs back for us then, and it was an incredible night, up to, up to about half four or five o'clock in the morning. Daylight had come up outside, it was in the middle of the summer, and uh, then they talked about maybe going playing a few holes of golf. That didn't happen, but... Uh, Nine holes. But they were great times, they were innocent times, really. Absolutely, you know, yeah. Innocent but times. Look, thank you very much. It's oh, it's we literally walked into each other. Just outside the cathedral here. Yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. We're really quiet because we're outside the I know, I know, yes, yes, yes. 
There's a show going on for TG4 in here, I believe. So. Exactly, and they're recording it all, and the place yes. is full to the brim. And Every I have a cousin so. inside, and I did. I was going to try and see if I could just meet him. Oh, right. uh, Marty Mulligan. You know Marty oh, Mulligan yeah, from yeah, town yeah, here. There's a lot of promotion of bands, and his son is in several bands. And they're all cousins. Then. They're all cousins, yeah. yeah and your first so, name? John. John. John Mulligan. I'm from Castle So there, that's John Mulligan, folks. Yeah. And uh, we met once. Now we've met twice. Well, we'll probably met more than once, actually. But, but you know, it was years ago, Ray. Be long forgotten about. Not to worry, John. Last from the past. Thank you very much, and uh, we're delighted to have you. Right, and I love your broadcasts. I love your your folly on the Facebook, and it's, it's brilliant. Appreciate it. Some great it. stuff from. Was it uh, from Mullingar? In Mullingar. That's it. Thank right you. The gar. Go on the gar. Thank you, John. Fair play. So there you are. You never know who you're going to meet walking down the street of Mullingar. So and uh, great to chat to um, John Mulligan. So uh, sun is out. Kayleigh is on, competition is flying away and uh, as you know it'll be decided up here and then they'll march the whole way down the centre of the town into the gig rig and present themselves as the winner of Flacuol Naheron 2023. So there you are folks, thanks for looking in and we'll keep you updated if we think there's something that you need to see. So we're coming to you from the 12 bongs area that's where it all began so once again bong bong